Hey, how's it going everyone? I have owed you a video for a while posting an update on the build that I've been doing with my 3090 Ti, 12900K, Aorus motherboard, and how I was going to water cool it all. This is the build update. Now, I'm just going to let the video do most of the talking for itself. Um, it's a pretty short clip here. Showing what I've got, I, I need a little bit more work on the cables, going to get some custom cables, have to figure out this plate issue I have with the Corsair gap that you see in the bottom right. They have a plate for it that covers it up nicely, but that 480 rad on the right goes all the way down and kind of blocks it. So uh, I got to figure something out there, but I'm still waiting for the custom cables anyways, so no rush. As this video goes on, I'm going to show you the test bench of the 3090Ti before the water block installation and just do a simple port royal run with a baseline score and then put it into the main build here that you're looking at and show you the score after the run. Nothing too crazy, but here we go. Alright, so as you can see, we've got 3090Ti here on air on the test bench doing a port royal run and if you think I should do a video on the test bench let me know I found a case online on Amazon that open air test bench and I just kinda makeshifted everything to make it work water cooled the CPU it's a 9900k and I've got the 3090Ti there showing a score of 15160 not bad I think my 3090 got roughly mid 14,000s, maybe a little bit under mid 14,000s, but overall, I mean, I've had no performance issues with my build. But this baseline test bench is sort of the reason why I wanted to build a test bench and kind of take advantage of some extra PC parts I had laying around as I built this new computer. So, the second video that's going to follow here will be the results of the 3090Ti with the EKWB full water block and in the case with the 12900K and the Oris motherboard. So let's close this out and here we are with the updated score. So just a little over 100 points gained. Nothing crazy. Maybe that's the 12900K, maybe that's the GPU being on water, maybe it's a little bit of both. But at the end of the day, take what points you can get. And I kind of chose Port Royal because it's just the go-to, I don't know, you know, everyone uses it. Gaming Bench is a focus on GPU, I'm pretty sure. There's a few of the 3D Mark benches that focus on the CPU. But I put a light clock each time I ran this before and after I put a light clock on uh, that you can see where the frequency is at and I kinda wanted to talk about the 12900K a little bit too because I haven't done a whole lot of benchmarking or testing with the 12900K but I did use Intel's overclocking utility and I'm just gonna kinda go through it right now get this disclaimer out of the way opens up and you're presented with this screen that basically just details everything on your PC it be similar as if you opened up you know hardware hardware info um, and checked it out there so nothing crazy here I you know don't really have a reason to be looking at this other than just checking it out this might have even been my first time opening it up I'm not sure but um, I did this recording a little bit a little bit ago now. It's taken me a while to get everything together and I do apologize for the delay, but um, yeah, as we see here, little disclaimer, obviously overclocking can damage your PC if done incorrectly, but that's kind of the purpose of this utility and I thought I would use it. Now look how many different settings there are here. If you really want to tweak out on this, you can, and I might one day. Uh, I mean, there's, it's a little overwhelming if you don't know what you're getting into, and I definitely am at the early stages of not knowing what I'm getting into, but. 
So using your tool, you're basically giving this utility full power to tune and clock your CPU based on what it's reading. And you can see there it bumped it up to 5.1 gigahertz. So, I mean, not bad. I, I'm not sure what top of the line 12900Ks are running. And I might get more in depth on that and try and make some videos on it now that I've kind of gotten everything squared away and I'm just working on cables. So let me know what you think about, well, really everything. How does the build look so far? How does the 3090Ti clock compared to what you've expected or what you thought? And what do you think of Intel's utility software here that kind of clocks the CPU for you? Maybe the lazy man's approach, but figured I would give it a shot. Alright, so if you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for watching and for following if you've seen the previous videos and kind of been waiting for this video to come out and see what the update was. I do appreciate it and all the comments that have corrected me on certain parts. Uh, I absolutely thank you because that 3090 Ti missed thermal pad that a few people pointed out was uh, really good information to hear back. So. Thank you for the attention to detail, thank you for the comments, and hope you've enjoyed it so far. Just leaving you off right now with what you can kind of do with the benchmark score that Intel gives you through their utility tool and their web interface. All right, last but not least, here's that little overlay, live performance monitoring thousands of them out there. I mean, not really, but if this one looks nice to you, go ahead and give it a shot.